Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all three actions for Shape Builder tool in Affinity Designer version 2. Alright, so here we are in Affinity Designer, that's version 2. This tool was introduced in version 2. So if you are a version 1 user, you will not find it on your tool list. So just below your shape area, there is a Shape Builder tool. If you select this tool, you may notice that three different actions at the top. There's a plus, minus and some kind of intersecting icon. Let's demystify them. So by default, your actions are not selected at all. So what does it mean? I mean, we can select both shapes you want to use to build a new shape. So the selection is a must. We need to select some shapes first, then the shape builder tool. And if I start using the tool on those shapes, selecting areas of those shapes I want to use, I just select them right now. Nothing happened just yet because I didn't commit to any action. Just want to show you that it's totally possible that you can make your selection first and then pick the action you want to use. Or we can simply pick the action before we start using the tool. So my first action will be the one with the plus. As you may guess, this will unify two shapes, three shapes, multiple shapes into one shape. So shape builder tool, I click plus, and now I can simply draw this line across those shapes. And I got only one shape now. Keep in mind, the building blocks, the original shapes are gone. I only end up with this new shape over here. All right, so that's your plus action. You will unify two or more shapes. As you can guess, minus will be kind of opposite. So let's select our shapes first, pick a shape builder tool, change to minus. And this time we can kind of show which part you wanna get rid of so I can start drawing even outside and you may notice now the tool is indicating red color so we will subtract this part i'm going to subtract those two parts if i release it's gone and i got new shape based on that subtraction so that's the man minus function and there's one more action at the very end and in this case we will unify the shape as we can see it's indicating blue color so we're going to create a new shape unify shape but take a look all right there's a new shape but i can still see the original building blocks all right so we did not remove those original building blocks so that's maybe helpful if you are building multiple shapes from the same grid, same geometry. All right, so the third option will create a new shape, same as the plus, but will not delete those shape building blocks from the document automatically. All right, so as you can see, the third action, unify shapes without deleting those building blocks. The minus action, that's a simple subtraction. If I draw additional shape here, I can select them both, shape builder minus, and I can subtract this area. All right, and the plus action, that's for us to adding unifying shapes together. So if I got one more shape here, I can simply unify that with the plus. And now that's just one shape. And of course, you don't need to commit to any action. You can select your shapes, then you can use the shape tool without any action on. Make some kind of selection and then you can decide that you want to plus or minus this area. Minus for both shape, that's zero. Plus, I will end up having one shape. Of course, I can do it. I can select it first and then click plus and it's done this way as well. All right, I hope this video was helpful. 
If you'd like to learn more about Shape Builder tool, I'm happy to announce that I just released 50 minutes long Skillshare class all about Shape Builder tool. So if you are a Skillshare user, you can follow the link in the description to check out this new class. As always, it's more like practical approach. We will try to use different features of this powerful tool to draw six different symbols together and learn on the way why we are working on our symbols. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.